The task of entering and maintaining sales prices can be a huge task. The number of products, price breaks, multiple channels, different segments, special and negotiated prices, all this contributes to a high number of prices. And multiply all this with the number of currencies where sales prices must be available. Let's have a look at a simple scenario where a US-based company exports three products to three different countries and they are selling at their home market as well. The export countries are Denmark, Italy and Australia. Here there is a need to maintain sales prices in four different currencies. There is a need for prices in each currency for each product and this adds up. Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 introduces generic currency to minimize the number of prices that must be maintained. The first part to obtain this optimization is only to maintain a base price list which is expressed in one currency, called the generic currency. The currency can freely be chosen between any currencies within the system. The second part is to select an exchange rate type for the conversion from the sales price in the generic currency into any other currency. An exchange rate type is a set of exchange rates and with Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 it is possible to create an exchange rate type dedicated to the exchange of sales prices from the generic currency into any other currency. This set of exchange rates can be maintained following the strategy and tactics defined by the business and it can be updated in any frequency. These exchange rates can be completely decoupled from any other conversion in the system. A sales price in any currency can be calculated based on the sales price defined in the generic currency and an exchange rate. This minimizes in almost all cases the resources needed to maintain the sales prices. For example, take a company with 50,000 products, each which can be sold in 70 currencies. This implies that 3.5 million sales prices must be maintained if each combination is to be maintained individually. Setting up sales prices in a generic currency and a dedicated exchange rate type implies that 50,000 sales prices and 69 exchange rates must be maintained. This difference is quite remarkable compared to the 3.5 million sales prices if each sales price were to be maintained individually. Imagine that changes in the world economy would impact a single currency so much that sales prices must be updated for the markets using this currency. Maintaining each sales price for all currencies individually would imply that 50,000 sales prices must be updated. If the currency does not happen to be the generic currency, then using Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, it would only take to update the exchange rate in the dedicated exchange rate type to react to the market change. The capability to react to market changes can be vital and the concept of generic currency supports company being agile and supports a minimum time from decision to effectuation. Looking at our example, then the price for the first product in euro seems a bit high. The psychological pricing theory claims that consumers are psychologically impacted by the price ending. And in order to be competitive, companies have to meet special price endings for their sales prices. Setting the sales price for this particular product to 49.95 euro will generate many more sales. Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 can apply special price endings to the sales price after currency conversion using the concept of smart rounding. Smart rounding ensures that the sales prices will be presented with the special price endings to the customer. The product demonstration included in this presentation will focus on getting the desired result in euro for the first product, which is 49.95 euros. During the demonstration, we will set up parameters that define which currency is to be used as the generic currency. We will create a new exchange rate type with one exchange rate record, defining the exchange rate between US dollar and euro. And we will select this exchange rate type as the one that are used for the exchange of sales prices. Then we define the sales price for item 20,007, which is a DVD player, to 64.99 US dollar. 
Using the earlier defined exchange rate, this will with two tickets equals 51.99 euro. This will be verified by requesting a sales price from a sales order. As a last part of the demonstration, smart rounding rules will be defined. These smart rounding rules will, when requesting a sales price for the DVD player, round 51.99 euro to 49.95 euro, which is going to be our default price for the DVD player in euro. This will be verified by requesting a sales price from a sales order. Let's navigate to Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 for the product demonstration. The parameters that controls the concepts of generic currency and smart rounding is to be found in the Prices tab on the Accounts Receivable Parameters form within the Accounts Receivable module. The parameters define which currency to choose as a generic currency and the exchange rate type used to converting sales prices from the generic currency to any other currency. Only the base price list and the exchange rate type are stored in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 when using the concepts of generic currency. A sales price derived from the base price are not stored, but will only be calculated when the price is requested. For example, when entering a sales quotation or sales order. The Apply Smart Rounding After Currency Conversion parameter decides whether or not smart rounding will be applied to the requested sales price after the currency conversion. The generic currency will be set to US dollar for this demonstration, and it will therefore only be sales prices in US dollar that can be converted into another currency. The conversion is done with the dedicated exchange rate type. In this demonstration, we will create a new exchange rate type that will be dedicated to exchange of sales prices. This can simply be done from this form by right-clicking the field and select View Details. A new exchange rate type is created by selecting New in the Action Pane strip. Let's call it Sales Prices and put in the description CEU Sales Price Exchange Rates. The details of this exchange rate type can be accessed by activating the exchange rate action in the action pane strip. Let's just make one exchange rate between US dollar and euro and let's for this demonstration only select the exchange rate to one US dollar for 0 0.8 euro. Create a new exchange rate by selecting new from the action pane strip. Select the from currency to US dollar and to currency to euro. Add a new record by selecting Add, select a start date, and the exchange rate to 0 0.8. Cleaning up by closing first the exchange rate form and then the exchange rate type form. Let's select the newly created exchange rate type as the one that should be used for the generic currency. And let's enable that the smart rounding is applied after the currency conversion. Let's have a quick look at our concept slide from earlier. What we have done until now is to define the generic currency, build the dedicated exchange rate, and enable smart rounding for automatically rounding. What we are still missing is to build the sales prices in generic currency and the smart rounding rules. The sales prices can be encompassed in trade agreements. Creating, maintaining, and deleting trade agreement is all done in a trade agreement journal. There exist many entries to the Trade Agreement Journal within Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, and one of these places is in the Journal Group on the Sales and Marketing Area page. A new journal is created by selecting New, select a group, and optional override the default description. The journal is accessed by selecting the Lines action. The task is to define the sales price for item 20,007, which is a DVD player to 64.99 US dollar. Relation must equal price sales since this journal line relates to sales prices. Account code all indicates that this price is valid for all customers. For this example, it could also be defined only for a group of customers as well as for a specific customer. I will select item 20007 in the item relation since this journal line must relate to this item only. No product storage or tracking dimensions will be selected in this example. And this sales price will be for any quantity, no price breaks. The amount in currency is set to 64.99. Please recognize that the currency is US dollar. 
only because currency is set to generic currency, which in this demonstration is US dollar, will it be possible to select the include generic currency flag. Setting this flag will indicate that this sales price can be converted using the concept of generic currency. If the flag is not set, then the price will only be available for customers purchasing this item in US dollar. It will not be converted. I will set it since the conversion between the sales price in US dollar into Euro is one of the main objectives of this exercise and post a journal to effectuate this record when requesting a sales price. Let's verify that this DVD player will now have a default sales price of 51.99 Euro and verify that Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 has been configured correct. I can create a new sales order from the customer list page by selecting the customer and navigate to the sales tab on the action pane and select new sales order. I have selected customer 2034, School of Fine Art, since I know that we are selling to this customer in Euro. Navigate to the sales tab and select new sales order will create a new sales order for the chosen customer. When I add item number 20,007 to the line, we can verify that we are receiving a unit price at 51.99 euro. This is what we were expecting and which verifies that we have set up the system correct. Let's have a look at some concepts for smart rounding before the last step of the demonstration, setting up the smart rounding rules. What we just saw in the product demonstration was the generic currency coming into play. The US dollar sales price was converted real time from $64.99 to €51.99 when requesting the price for the item. The scenario that we are trying to do mimic a selling company that wish all sales prices within the price interval $29.95 to $149.95 converted from the generic currency into Euro to end with €9.95. This implies that €51.99 should be rounded to €49.95 or €59.95. Using symmetric rounding would imply symmetry having equally large intervals for rounding down as rounding up. In this example, rounding all values between 54.95 to 49.95 and all values equal or above 54.95 to 59.95. Symmetric rounding would round 51.99 to 49.95. Asymmetric rounding gives the option to control the sizes of the rounding intervals. In the shown example, there will be a tendency to round up more often than rounding down. By chance, this would also round 51.99 to 49.95. The last option is to leave an interval open between the two rounding intervals. This is leaving powerful control over the rounding. Say that a company is operating in a very competitive market. If they round too much up, they would lose to competitors because the price would be too high. The same company might have a low margin on its product, so rounding too much down would cause the company to lose money on the deals. Again, an example where 51.99 would round to 49.95. All three types of rules can be expressed with Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 and it can be done independently per price interval and currency. The following demonstrate the syntax as it would be for the last example. Unit price from and unit price to define the price interval where this rule is valid. Syntax defines the desired price ending. In this case, the desired price ending for prices within $29.95 and $149.95 is $9.95. And the number sign is working as a wild card, as the results after rounding could be any of the price points $29.95, $39.95, $49.95 and so on until $149.95. Lower limit indicates when to round down and again is the number sign working as a wildcard. So 29.95 to 42, 39.95 to 42, 49.95 to 52 and so on until 139.95 to 142 must be rounded down to the previous price point. 
This is equivalent for the upper limit, which is of course rounding up. Unit price from is inclusive and unit price to is exclusive. Let's navigate back to the product demonstration of Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 and see the environment for maintaining smart rounding rules. The smart rounding rules can be accessed directly from the trade agreement journal, but it can also be accessed from the sales and marketing area page under setup, price discount, and then smart rounding. A new smart rounding version can be created activating the new action on the action pane strip. A smart rounding version includes all the smart rounding rules that apply to one or many currencies. It is also possible to activate populate default rules. This will populate some smart rounding versions, including smart rounding rules that can be used as a starting point and inspiration. Together with the default rules are created two rounding versions. 95 and 99. Focusing on the first, we discover that this rounding version includes five smart rounding rules, dividing all the positive numbers into five distinct intervals. The first interval is for prices lower than 195. The syntax lower limit and upper limit defines that this rule would never round down. This might remove the margin, but will round up if the price before rounding is between 0.7 and 0.95, which in this interval can only be rounding up if the price before rounding is between 0.7 and 0.95 or 1.7 and 1.95. The next interval is for prices equal or bigger than 195, but lower than 29.95. The syntax lower limit and upper limit defines that this rule will always round up to the next price point, unless the desired price ending is already the case. The third example is the price interval applicable for our example. This defines that a price before rounding between 995 and 4, where 4 is exclusive, will be rounded down to the previous price point and a price before rounding between 4 and 9.95, where 4 is inclusive, will be rounded up to the next price point. This implies that 51.99 will be rounded down to 49.95, which is exactly what we are trying to accomplish in this product demonstration. Expanding the rule simulation fast tab uncover two fields, price example before rounding and price example after rounding. This is for testing out the rules. In the first field, a value can be entered which rounded using the smart rounding rules and the result will be presented in the second field. Let's try our example with 51.99. The price example after rounding is 49.95 as expected. Expanding the rounding version members uncover a grid where one or many currencies can be matched against the smart rounding version. Let's add Euro since any conversions into Euro should be rounded based on the smart rounding rules defined in the 95 rounding version. Navigating back to the previous sales order, it is now possible to create a new line for yet another DVD player. And this time, Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 will not only exchange the base price from US dollar to Euro using the concept of generic currency, but it will in addition also apply smart rounding. The sales price offered on this sales order line is 49.95 Euro.